The vast majority of Catholics in the pews have been sacramentalized before they've been evangelized. And in the history of the church, we've never done it that way. There's so many barriers in the culture, social media and noise and noise and noise. And so they think they know Jesus, but they don't. They don't know very much about his life. They just have this negative impression of Jesus and sometimes negative impression of institution and authority and church. And trying to convince them that that there's actually a person at the heart of this thing, that Jesus is not just simply interested in behavior modification, he's not just an added value. He's the thing that, that relativizes every other good that there is. Why should a priest religious come to Damascus? One, let's just start with how fun it is. You get to go on high ropes course and shoot kids with paintball guns and dunk kids in the lake, and it, it's, it's just fun, right? So let's just start with that. My experience has been, no matter who comes, becomes part of the community. You can actually be a kid and be yourself, really. I'm singing, I'm dancing, I'm acting, and I'm inviting the children into it. We pray together every day, we pray together throughout the day, and a lot of what I experienced here, the Lord kept in my heart so that I could witness in that way in the classroom. Personally, I feel like every time I come, I receive more than I give. I, I come to, to be a spiritual mother, but it's, it's an experience of being validated in my own vocation without needing to do anything or produce anything or prove anything. Some of my most memorable encounters have been with other priests and religious here who are similarly thriving and growing deeper in their own vocations. When you come to CYSC, you encounter just the hope of the young church and how the Lord is just setting hearts on fire. I don't know who decided this place was gonna be called Damascus, but I think it was so appropriate because what I've seen over and over, year after year, are scales fall from kids' eyes as they meet Jesus eye to eye. Like as the priest, you carry the monstrance, you carry Jesus directly in front of these kids' faces. And you can literally watch as you see a change happen in their eyes, as they see, as the it of the Eucharist becomes a who and it changes everything. And you're right there, holding Jesus face to face. No one does encounter better than in Damascus.